All right. Alabama overturns 28-year ban on yoga in schools spurred by fears it would convert students to Hinduism. All right. Alabama overturns 28-year ban on yoga in schools spurred by fears it would convert students to Hinduism. But chants and salutations like namaste are still forbidden. That's fucking bullshit. What the fuck? The bill giving school boards discretion to teach yoga was signed into law Thursday. Oh, why thank you so much. It overturns a 1993 ban. Who knew that yoga was banned in schools in Alabama? Who lives in Alabama? Anyway. Uh, that prohibited the exercise at schools, conservative groups had opposed overturning the ban, saying it was a gateway to Hinduism. How awful. Yoga instruction allowed by the law is limited to poses and stretches with use of such such as the greeting, namaste, prohibited. (laughs) Um, State Rep. Jeremy Gray sponsored and pushed for the bill, saying it could provide mental and physical benefits for students. No fucking shit. Everybody knows you never go full retail. No shit. You don't say. You don't say. There you go. You see how awesome this would be, right? At the top here, of course, it's just, this is just like a, like a, it says Shutterstock picture, but isn't that like, that'd be great for kids. That'd be great for fucking kids. That'd be great for kids. We don't have to read through all this shit. Um, I don't really want to read through this whole article. I'd say let's read, let's read a couple parts here. So this is definitely out of, you know, con. I'm just reading parts of this, uh, quote, if this bill passes, then instructors will be able to come into classrooms as young as kindergarten and bring these children through guided imagery, which is a spiritual exercise and it's outside their parents view. And we just believe that is not appropriate. So that was an old, uh, an old quote, a criticism outside their parents view. Like I do understand a little bit, honestly, I, I understand a little bit a little bit why they did this because of course if you take it like the spiritual direction i understand you know you have you know areas where your parent parents are teaching their kids certain values like i I do understand that it does make sense i don't disagree but i mean we're talking about the physical i'm not talking about the religious aspects and spiritual you can take yoga in so many different ways so i don't completely disagree but the physical benefits of like doing the movements like the physical benefits alone the physical and mental aside from the spiritual stuff yeah Quote, they banned yoga, which they specifically identified as Hindu prayer, and also banned inducing hypnotic states in children as part of the large legislation it passed. Lee said in a March 2020 interview, they found the bill unconstitutional. They didn't find the whole bill unconstitutional, just the school prayer part, and as such, the yoga part remained on the books. The state's ban gained prominence in 2018 when an old old document circulated listing yoga along with games like tag, among inappropriate activities in gym class. Why is, I'm sorry, is tag not allowed at school anymore? That's fucking bullshit. What about capture the flag? Or tag was great. Remember tag running in recess and you have like 20 kids like chasing one and you're like running and running and jumping over the playground through the swings and you're climbing a tree. That was fucking awesome. Tag is really basic. You need no, you need no equipment. Tag. You know, it's so funny. It's so funny now. Who remembers? I guess there's different ways to call it. I guess people call it what? Pepper or wall ball or butts up. We called it butts up in school. I grew up in in New England. So in Connecticut, we called it butts up where you'd, you know, chase and run to the wall and like a kid would stand there with his back to the everyone. You would throw it and peg him in the ass. Do you remember that? You would literally throw, throw a ball like at a kid. And that was now, th- those were the rules. It was like a, a tennis ball firing squad. Who remembers that game? I don't remember what you might have called it. Yeah, freeze tag, butts up. Yeah. I guess if like you threw the ball and someone caught it, you had to go up against the wall and they would peg you in the ass with the ball. <laughs> and it would hit you in the back of the calf and it's like kind of scraped. And like, oh, fuck. You get like this burn from the tennis ball. Kids would put spin on it and shit. Savages. Oh, my God. You can't put their hands on each other. Oh my God, because butts up is butts up is white supremacist or something. Stay 
Yeah. Hey, y'all some jokers, y'all a bunch of clowns. You will not get a laugh out of me. You can talk, but you can't denounce. I live a different theology. Why I transfer to a new account? You just fucked over a prodigy. Posted up with a rented crown. You are the king of the apology. You about to 